Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Loche. I'm part of the Grow Show live every Saturday here, a certified emotion practitioner and the co-host of this Saturday show. And I'm here, I'm in beautiful Victoria, BC, and I'm here with John. Good morning, John. Good morning. Hey, yes, my name is John Inverarity. I'm in Vancouver, Canada, also on the West Coast. And I'm certified in the emotion code and certified in the body code. And I see this all the time, uh, sinus congestion or blast blocked uh, sinuses, nasal congestion, whatever you want to call it. It's very, very, very common. And yeah, I'll be speaking on this a little bit more of uh, maybe a little bit what causes it or what common causes. But to, to, for us today, we're doing emotion code. And we're going to see if it works. And, yeah. uh, you know, we've seen a little bit of success in our practice. Um, and we're going to see if it works today with you. So, um, yeah. We're always prompted by what we work on in real life, right? We just don't come up with ideas. So I was, I had a client and right near the end of the call, I, you know, if there's time left, I'll fill it. And I thought, so I asked her, I said, I'm going to check to see your nasal passages right from your lungs, right out through your nose. And on a scale of one, oh, she said, they're fine. I said, well, let my fingers find out if they're fine. So I tested it, 10 would be severe, and was it a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5? And I say, well, your subconscious mind, that's the boss of everything, is telling me that you're actually 50%. She said, really? So I said, Lenny Clear. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes if you're watching us for the first time. So I did an emotion code session, then I got her to breathe, and I think she knocked herself out. She goes, I have never breathed. She goes, I didn't know I was blocked. So even you might not think that you have blocked nasal passages out through your nose and from your lungs. And we can almost tell you where they're lodged and those meaning unprocessed trapped emotions. We're going to talk about that shortly. So John, I got a couple quick announcements and uh, I'm going to get you to uh, welcome our friends when I'm done that. So first, if you are an emotion code practitioner, whether you're brand new or whether you've been in business like John for many, many years, you're invited to watch live today inside my Emotion Code Facebook group. The address is inside of the links there. I'm doing a special training for practitioners. It's called Michael Loger's Top 10 Success Factors for Having a Thriving Business. Now, you know my style. You know, I'm a trainer. I've always wanted to train people. And so you, at the end of the call, you'll get a list of my top 10 plus resources where I've expanded for free, where I've expanded more on some of the items. It's free. You might uh, want to mark your calendar for two hours from now inside my Facebook group and tag another practitioner because I promise you what I'm going to teach you today will help you be faster and make more money being an emotion code or body code practitioner. I want to see you there today inside the Facebook group. Uh, secondly, uh, my six-week new body program, that's uh, I, sometimes I call it weight loss and weight reduction, but you know what's kind of having a new body, whatever that means to you. It's a six part series. It starts next week. Every participant will get over 51 emotion code sessions in six weeks. You'll be able to remove or delete uh, 18 food or beverage items over that period of time. And after they'll get a one on one session with me for things that didn't cover it in the group format. I'm doing it over six weeks on purpose. Because I want you to come back in the next week and say, holy S balls, you'll never guess what changes I'm experiencing. And I'll say, I won't guess it, but I'll believe it. So I put the link into that six-week series. It's, I only need about five minutes of your time. But it's, you join a class like this, and for three or four minutes, everybody doesn't sound like lots. Profound changes will happen. You know what, I'm efficient, I'm effective, and I'm fast, and I'm good. I don't need you for 25 minutes, but I need you for five minutes for six weeks. If you're in, say yes, or check the link in the comments. John, who is joining us today, please? Yeah, if you are joining us, say hello in the comments. Uh, it's on the live stream right now. And um, you know what, we are looking for some volunteers. I believe we have one already. And so if you have uh, blocked nasal passages, uh, volunteer. And just in the comments saying, hey, pick me, this is my story. And um, yeah, go ahead right now. So first, going to say hi to Natasha Paula Samuel, watching live, as always, says hello. Hey, Natasha. And Sylvia Bellini's here again, uh, close to Natasha. Well, I think that's with the stars or whatever. It's called Must Be Over because... 
you know what? They always get better ratings, and Sylvia will choose them over us. She's here early today. I bet you that's – tell me if that's true, Sylvia. If, yeah. we're, if, if we've surfaced to first place in the U.K. right now for you. Yeah. Good morning. Uh, hey, Kelly Parson is with us. Good morning, Kelly. Welcome. Yeah, and uh, Permelia Parham's here. It says, good morning, bros. Watching from snowy Parksville. Hey, Permelia. Welcome. Sheldon Foster's here from Baltimore. Hey, Sheldon. And hey, Carol Sheldon. Morris from Calgary. Ooh, cool. Calgary. Minus Our friend 26. and fellow practitioner Holly Peters is saying hello. She said, Wisconsin looks like a snow globe. And I, I know after I'm very busy today in, in my most delightful way ever. I, I created all of this. But after the bro show today, I'm mentoring 27 emotion code practitioners, and I've been doing it for 13, 14 months. Today's training is how to write an article about your business and emotion code. So Holly's looking forward to that training. And an hour, two hours, an hour after that at 12 noon, guess what? It's the practitioners live show on 10 tips for being an awesome, holy S ball practitioner running your business. That's what I'm going to teach you how to do. Awesome. Okay, John, uh, one more refresh and then we're going to start our show today. Yeah, I'm again, we're looking for some volunteers, blocked nasal passages, really common. I know there's a okay. few people out there with it. Just put your hand up, say, hey, hey, Mimi. Uh, Doug Collins is here, uh, watching from Halifax, Nova Scotia. East Coast. Kelly Carson's here. Says, uh, because of the emotion code and Michael and John, I have no complaints today. Woohoo! Nice. Hey, Lori Brown. Uh, she was in earlier that note. Lori Brown, if you are still watching live, let me know. Give me the severity of this nasal blockage from 1 to 10, and I'll work on you if you're live. That's the rule because we need feedback. Because, well, my ideal session would be you would come back and give me a holy S pause and say, it's gone, so I need you to be live to be able to do that. Okay. And so we're watching, uh, reading comments from, on Michael's page, his uh, personal page. So if you're in the group, I shared it to the group, if you're in that group and, sh and commenting on that, uh, we're just not seeing that right now. I think I saw Jennifer Towner in there. Um, so just pop over the links there. Um, okay, so Lori is watching. She says, I'm here, it's 10. Okay, great. Okay, Lori, I'm going to choose to work with you. Uh, you've given me permission by implication. Is that a right word, implication? Yeah, she, it's implied. I could say impl implicationization. I could really, you know what, the word. Make but her upper. Lori Brown, uh, nasal black pop, um, passages, breathing problems. She had an operation 20 years ago. John will tell us what happens when we have an operation most times. Uh, the severity is a 10. I'm going to work with her after uh, Don and I talk about the emotion code process with you. So, Don, why don't you just introduce some of the points uh, about the emotion code. First, I'll show the book. Uh, John and I are certified practitioners with Dr. Bradley Nelson for this book called The Emotion Code. It has been endorsed and forwarded by the lovely and talented Dr. Tony Robbins. It's a nice, thick book. Most of it is very, well, very inspirational, true stories about how the emotion code was used in many areas. And you can learn how to do the emotion code yourself. Now, John and I are certified. We're trained. We've got years of experience. We work fast. We work a little bit differently and intuitively. And uh, so you could strive to be good, too. But you can start here with Dr. Brown's book. Yeah. So, John, book. a lot of this work is based on kind of two key concepts. One is about our subconscious mind. For our new viewers today, why don't you just recap that and then we'll go from there. Yeah, so we have the, the conscious brain, which, you know, we, we use, you know, day-to-day -day tasks, you know, talking to people, uh, you know, writing articles. Um, and then we have a subconscious, which is, you know, like turns, you know, that lunch into like rebuilding cells or something, whatever, right? Like it's the brains behind the operation and it, and it knows uh, everything that you've done uh, in your life, every experience is uh, what you've gone through in the past, and it it it, it stores that um, you know somewhere. And so we communicate with the subconscious mind to find out uh, you know what it was that's preventing your healing, or in today's case, uh, maybe contributing to the blocked nasal passages, right? And so the other key concept 
is uh, trapped emotion, which is an unprocessed emotion from a past negative event. So uh, a key, uh, one of the seven keys in the emotion code uh, process is the chart. So this chart has two columns, six rows, and there's 60 trapped emotions. So unprocessed emotions, past negative events, 60 of them, and your subconscious uh, knows what they are. So we're finding uh, what they are. We're asking the subconscious mind. Now these trapped emotions can be the size of your fist. So if you got a few of those, you know, in your sinuses, you know, you're, it's going to, uh, you know, it's going to create blocks and barriers and, you know, can create aches and pains and mental health concerns as well. And uh, so we use muscle testing to, to communicate with your subconscious mind. And so we're asking yes or no based questions and the answers um, we're getting through muscle testing. And so we'll show you, uh, we're going to demonstrate it. And so, so stay tuned. And we like the severity of what we're working with. And today, um, Lori says it's a 10. And um, we're going to try and get it down as much as possible. Don't know what's going to happen. But, you know, the intention is that it's, it's going to help. Okay. I'm going to summarize what's about to go down and under maybe 30, 15 or 30 seconds. On Lori Brown's behalf, she's given me permission to ask her subconscious mind yes or no questions because it, her subconscious mind, knows everything. And learning how to muscle test and ask the questions on her behalf, I'm going to ask her subconscious mind about this, um, these blocked nasal passages. It'll be aware of it. And it's so freaking smart, it's going to know exactly what's causing it. The assumption that it's trapped, caused by trapped emotions. So I'll make sure if it is caused by trapped emotions, then I'm in, right? I can help. If it's caused by, you know, drinking green tea, I can't help that. But if it's caused by trapped emotions, I'm going to help that. I'm going to measure the work, like right now on a scale of 1 to 10, what's the blockage? What am I done? Uh, where is it gone? And then uh, Lori's watching and giving me permission a So, John, before I get started, Water, yeah, so water helps with us uh, with muscle testing and you as a recipient of this work, uh, drink some water as well right now. And you know, even tomorrow and just over the next, well today, the rest of the day tomorrow, drink extra water. I do wanna add something here. Um, we're, yeah, why don't you demonstrate the muscle testing there, Michael? Okay, so right now I'm muscle testing. I put a little loop in my finger and I have an agreement with my brain that says, lock my fingers when it's a yes, let it go when it's a no. So right now, am I Michael, am I John? No. So right now I'm gonna connect with Lori Brown because she's giving me permission. You know what, she gave me permission to her subconscious Wi-Fi. And the password was, I give you my permission.com or hashtag, I give you my permission. So I'm just muscle testing and then I'm, my muscles will say, yeah, you're connected with Lori. And it's not doing that yet. So connecting, there we go. Lori, Brown, am I Smith? No, let it go if it's a no. Am I, I'm just thinking Lori Brown, Lori Smith, right? So am I Michael? I'm Lori Brown. Okay, now I'm going to ask the question. Now I can only ask yes or no questions. My conscious mind was telling Michael and John about my blocked nasal passages I've had for many years. On a scale of 1 to 10, what is my daily average level of severity for this blockage? Was 10 severe? Is it 1? No. 2? No. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Is it 10? No. Is it 8? No. Is it under 9? No. Is it over 9? Is it 9, Captain Obvious? Yes, it's 9. Okay. Now, here's my favorite question. What is the percentage that the severity of this problem is caused by unprocessed emotions. Is it over 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90? Is it over 99? Is it over 100? No. Is it under 100? No. Is it, a, is it 100? Is it over 100, under 100, 100, 99, 100? So subconscious mind, I'm not making it up. I'm asking. Uh, Lori Brown's subconscious mind says 100% of the severity of my nasal passage blockage is caused by emotions. Okay, now we gotta go, John, show the chart. Now I gotta, oh, one behind me there. Now I gotta, well, this is gonna be just an average. I don't recommend uh, everybody do this because there could be other um, circumstances, but just for the helicopter of it, I'm gonna find out how many emotions could I be looking for? Over one, two, three, four, over five? No, 
Under five mil? Five. Okay, I'm gonna go hunt for them now. Okay, I, uh, uh, is it B? Is it in column B? One, two, three. Is it row four? Okay, uh, do I need to know? Well, how many years ago did I found four, five emotions, size of a baseball that are creating this problem? Your subconscious mind saying that we don't need to find out, but just for just to show you the smartness of your subconscious mind. How many years ago? Over five, over ten, over. 15, over 16, 17, 18, 19, over 20, no, under 20, no, 20, yeah, so 20 years ago, I lodged these, are, these, are all five of these emotions mine, yes, is the first one depression, so, John, explain this process. So oh, right, so we have magnets, we use magnets, which amplifies the intention to release that or neutralize the emotion. So finding it, well, uh, or muscle testing to, to find it, uh, surfaces it, and then the magnet clears it. Okay, let's do some other stuff silently. Okay, so while you're doing that, I'll uh, talk about the sinus uh, congestion, block nasal passages here. So uh, it's really common because there is a, a lack of blood flow to the sinuses. And so even if you do have surgery there, um, just that, that repair, that innate ability for your body to heal itself is, is lessened because just the lack of blood flow, energy flow, whatever you want to call it. So clear out the, the trapped emotions that you know, are stuck in there and then increase that healing ability. Mm-hmm. Okay, I just completed the session, John, so I muscle, I'm disconnected now, but I muscle tested. We started at a nine. I identified five trapped emotions and some other ones that I just did silently. Uh, and her subconscious mind says it's down to a zero. Now, that might mean this round, like a boxing round. This round might be to zero, so we want to check in with her. Oh, you think that's funny that I used Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I don't know why I even know that. But... Um, so Lori Brown, uh, uh, take some deep breaths for me, like hold them in your lungs and let it out. Like just do that breathing. I know that you'll, you'll my hunch is, my, you know, my hunch is you're going to notice a difference, but if it's not completely clear, then I'm going to go back in for round two. Okay. There we go. So it's common to have, um, I shouldn't say it's common, but so what happens when you have surgery is that, um, you know, you go in there with all sorts of utensils and stuff and, you know, open things up and that creates an area of weakness. I mean, you know, the surgeons are going in there to heal you and, you know, we love surgeons and, and all that. But what ha if you're if those trapped emotions go into that area of weakness, you know, they, they can get stuck there and not get cleared. So these trapped emotions, they do sort of navigate to, you know, the, the path of least resistance. So that's why people do have like these reoccurring injuries. Um, you know, it may be because of these trapped emotions. Well, I remember when doing the training with Dr. Brad and watching the part of the video, and I remember it so clearly because what you're just explaining now, people said, well, how come the pain comes back? And I always say, it's not the same pain because we got rid of that with Big Bertha. Like, it's not even the same emotions. And I remember Dr. Brad said it because it, it was my floating question, and he said, the pain will go to the weakest part of your body, like if you re-injure yourself or you have more shock or surprise or whatever. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what happens. The pain will go to the weakest part of your body. So some of you that might get some body work done and feel relief there for a few days, and then if you say, oh, I'm going to start lifting weights again, and you agitate it where it was weak before, so it needs that healing time as well. Yeah, so that's why there's that, that key where you go and you, you, know, you do a session, you clear some out, the body, heal, the body goes in there heals and then you know a couple of days later you go and do it again clear out more and you know you just gotta you know sometimes it takes a few sessions to totally uh, get that that healing that momentum yeah so there's two sinuses so she says the right side's better left side needs more work so. oh yeah okay uh, there's a, a friend there did you have someone you're working on uh i i can i can definitely uh carol morris volunteered oh sure um asking too so or she, who is uh, her name is shara s-h-i-r-a and she's new so 
Oh, there we go with Laurie's comments. The right side is better than the left side to me, Laurie, that sounds better. Okay, so uh, implied permission to check back in with um, Laurie Brown. So uh, this, uh, I'm gonna language it like this would be our second session, right? Maybe she booked a couple sessions and I wanna find out, hey, how, how have things been reduced since the last visit? So I might pretend that we had uh, three or four days before in between appointments. Okay, am I Michael? No, am I Lori Brown? Yes, am I hydrated enough? Good. You know, uh, before the motion code session, what was the severity of my, my block passages and nasal blockage? Was it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? And what has been the average level of blockage since that session? Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Oh, it's down to a 3. Okay, I'm going to ask the same question. Um, what is the percentage that these three trapped emotions are 100% of the problem. Is it over 95? Is it one? Is 100% of the problem caused by 100% emotion? Yes. And there's just three of them. And listen, this is going to be interesting. Are they mine? No. See, we're layer two. Are they mine? Are they my mom's? Are any of them my dad? So, Don, what did we talk about? I'm going to carry on here. I'm just going to work with um, Carol here. She volunteered. Says it's a four out of ten permission. So to set the intention, tune in, connect up Carol. So I'm muscle testing here with my fingers. Hands are just down my lap. So setting that intention, I'm going to uh, connect up, communicate with Carol Morris's subconscious mind. And do have permission to connect up, yeah, act as a proxy. So act as a proxy, act on her behalf as the, you know, the, I'm the practitioner. Yeah, so blocked nasal passages. Yeah. Severity at least a five. I got a yes to five. Six out of ten or higher? No. All right, four, five, same difference. Close enough. So, Carol, is there a trapped emotion that is uh, blocking nasal passages or contributing to block nasal passages? There is. Yes. Okay. What's the percentage of uh, you know this concern? Uh, what's the percentage that it is trapped emotions? Is it a hundred? Is it fifty percent? Yeah, hundred ninety. Five, four, ninety-four percent. We'll do as much as we can today. So there's a trapped emotion. I'm just going to interject, Lori. I just completed the right nostril, uh, the left nostril, and a little bit more. That remember the second layer. So uh, just do that again. Take a couple deep breaths and look for any little pinches, or and come back and let us know. Uh, Darling Thompson's with us today. Nicole Stewart's peeking in, saying hello. Nice, yeah. I got B4 as well. Something going on, liver, gallbladder emotions, hey? Going on. Uh, good connection, Carol Proxy. Something else creating this uh, block nasal passages. Uh, okay, three. Sadness. There's no more. No. Oh, the first one was indecisiveness. Now we're creating sadness. <laughs> Cleared. Yeah, okay. Uh, severity, five, four, three, two, one. Another trapped emotion, identifying and clear. Yeah, that'd be odd. Okay, Lori Brown, we're looking for a new, fresh and comment from you. Fear. We're cleared. Yeah, Carol, good connection. Proxy, uh, another trapped emotion, creating this sinus, blocked sinuses, chronic sinus problems. No. Uh, sometimes it's the uh, ileocecal valve. Hash no hashtag on ileocecal valve. So it's the one-way valve between your small intestine and large intestine. And if it's not functioning properly, you get fecal matter that goes from the large intestine back up into the small intestine for reabsorption. And that can show up in your sinuses as you know, there's just toxins, and um, that's actually I learned that from Dr. Brad. So, so you're correct. just checking that information right now. I'm just just checking it. Yeah, just came, I thought I'd just check it. Nice. Um, <laughs> no, it's not the ileocecal valve. <laughs> okay. Um, you Time know what? One. Oh, go ahead. There's another common cause of sinus congestion and that's uh, dairy 
uh, cheese. And um, I was actually just, just did a, a big uh, a client care kind of like promotion contest uh, for like all my clients. And like cheese and dairy was like a very, very popular item that people wanted to get rid of. Oh, yeah. And so I, I did that, worked on people, and people are just like cutting out dairy, uh, cheese, um, even like ice cream is a super popular item that people want to get rid of. And so that that's another, you know, avenue you can go to um, to get rid of that mucus causing food to, to clear up your sinuses. Yeah. You remember Rhonda, the woman that I helped get rid of bacon? She ended up getting yeah. rid of pork altogether. <laughs> so yeah. I haven't had any pork at all for two years. I asked to get rid of bacon. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, friend Lori Brown. So if you're, uh, here's what we did today. So uh, John and I, most of practitioners, we can work at a distance today. That's what we're here to show you that just connecting with somebody with their permission, knowing what their symptoms are, we can connect with them and we can on their behalf delete these emotions. Listen, I know it sounds crazy. Wait till you have your own session. Lori Brown came to us today and said, you know what? She thought her nasal blocks were, were blocked as a 10. What an exaggerator. You know what they were? A nine. Blocks, that's nine. That's Imagine having blocked sinuses for a nine. That must be horrible. So she came to us live today and said there are nine. And as the practitioner, I talked to her subconscious mind, knowing how to navigate and ask the questions. I found out that 100% of the block nasal passages was caused by all unprocessed emotion many years ago. Listen, even if you went to therapy and you were laying on the bed and said, I know when it happened, it was 20 years ago. But until Big Bertha comes out, those trapped emotions will never get deleted until they get a good swipe. So John and I find the emotion and delete it. Find the emo and you know what the best is? We don't even got to talk about that 20 year ago thing. So I deleted five emotions plus some other ones that were causing it. The first time she said there was a little bit left over in one of the ears and here's her latest one. I can't believe, exclamation mark. And then she gave me a much better. Now, you are new to the bro show because a much better is not a number. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being severe, zero, zero breathing, it's 100% gone. I'm throwing Michael a bone. What is the severity now, Lori Brown? Between zero and 10 being severe. Michael is asking for a number. <laughs> Why am I not uh, hearing numbers? <laughs> hey, and if you're an emotional code practitioner, you uh, just want to chill out with me today at 12 noon Pacific, which is 3 p.m. Eastern. I'm hosting a live Facebook business training for practitioners. Maybe you're just considering being an emotion code practitioner. And what, and what does it look like to be in business and promote it and so on? Well, you can come join anyway. I've got a top 10 list. It's my 10 list. I didn't find this list in a parchment paper scroll tucked inside a pyramid. It's my list that I created to help me and 27 other practitioners be successful. And uh, I'm gonna give you 10 of the top things. So join me live on the Facebook group. And if you're not in the Facebook, it's not on this Facebook live. It's inside Michael Loge's Facebook Emotion Code Hangout Room. I know it sounds like a lot. Type in Loge and Emotion Code and you'll see the Hangout Room there. You put the link in the comments, didn't you? I think I, think I, I said I did, but... Uh, I'm going to do a refresh on that on my screen. Right. Yeah. I mean, we can always put it in there. Um, so let's see. We're getting some updates. Update from Carol. Uh, right side much clear. Left has rebound partially closed again. Uh, Lori says left side two. I'm thrilled. Thank you so much. What did Lori say in that comment? Two, Carol said two on the left side as well. Hmm. The two is going on. I can't see Lori's comment. Was it two on the left or right? Left is a two. Okay. Hey, it's not done until it's gone. So I'm going to go back in muscle testing. This connection. Well, aren't you persistent? I am. I'm like a, a dog that won't let go of that bone. 
Okay, I'm reconnected with Lori Brown. You know, uh, what is the severity of the discomfort and not so happy right nostril? Is it 10987654310? Okay, just as your conscious mind said, there's zero blockage in the right nostril. What is the severity of the blockage in the left nostril? Uh, is it 10987654321? Okay, it's, a, it's absorbed. Yeah, I'm connected up to uh, Carol again. Carol, I'm connected up to you again. I'm just going to, your subconscious so right now, is taking me to another chart. This, right now, I'm deleting this absorbed emotion of discouragement. It means that Lori Brown was in the room and somebody was having the emotion of discouragement. Unknowingly, she picked it up. You know, sometimes we feel that. So now, and I'm swiping a lot. I usually swipe like 10 or 30 times. I don't count anymore. Just intuitively, I would stop it. So now I'll check my work though. Did I remove this, the emotion that was causing the little bit of unhappiness in my left ear? Yes. Are there any kind of emotions trapped? Ear? No. We're doing noses, not ears today. Two years next week. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to ask, check my work. What is the severity of discomfort of my right nostril? Is it 10987654321? Just like it was. Now, what is the, dis um, I was going to say the discouragement. Now, what is the unhappiness of my left nostril? Is it 10987654321? Before today's session, what was the severity of my blocked air passageways from my lung right up through my nose? Was it eight, nine? And now the total blockage from my lungs right up through my nose is 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, I'm just gonna disconnect from Lori. And uh, she's standing by with some more comments. Nice, yeah. Thanks, Corrine Beach Murray. She posted a link to the group, your group. Oh, great. Uh, Thanks. It's always good to help us out. <laughs> Take Brown Mason. Maybe I should put my little formula in a scroll and bury it. Yeah, pyramids are way too pyramids are way too cumbersome. So Karen Morris, that was a two out of ten on the left side. We will hear from you with another. Just just did another round, ding, 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 on Carol Morris. Uh, hopefully it helps. Yeah. So we're going to hang out for a few more minutes, and um, uh, we're going to hear from our two subjects that had in motion code session. Now, um, we, you know, we went, we went fast today. You know, we were trying to demonstrate things that we can do. So imagine booking a 25-minute session with us for blocked air passageways. Now what do we do for the other 22 minutes? Well, we tell people to make a list. Yeah, tell you. So uh, pe people that people might not even know some of the things that they can order at our Motion Code store. Tell them what they can use to help them stimulate some other ideas. Go ahead, please. Right. So we have a little uh, like a, a planner a menu on our website. Uh, there's Michael's right there. So you can go through it and um, and maybe you'll be, you know, stimulated by, you know, what's on it. You could just uh, take a few things from there, you know, three things, four, five, six, um, and, and send it to us. And that way you can work on a few different things um, because, yeah, we, we like to do more, more than one thing in a session. And it's actually better for you. In that, you know, a lot of these things are connected, so we'll work on, you know, number two or three, and it'll actually help number one. Um, so, yeah. Well, well, today was a classic example. When I worked on her nostril, the subconscious mind said, no, oh, you're done. But what it really meant was, you're done for now, right? Mm -hmm. Come back. So I mm -hmm. did, and then we back as if it was, a, and then it's, a, okay, now there's a whole, there's other ones that I didn't give you the first time. I'm gonna release them, you can release them now. So again, that's why it's good to have another multiple sessions. But first time we'll get severe, excellent results. And on that note, let's see if we have any more feedback from our two friends. 
Uh, so people again wanting to book, you know what you need to do to uh, come prepared. And John and I like that if you come to the show, you kind of know the process. So guess what? You're saving us seven minutes. Hashtag, we can get a lot of, you know, what done in seven minutes. So, you know, we want to get right to work. And so come prepare, come with your list. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. And we, we do a quick video too that's like 10 or 11 minutes, really concise of, of the process. So um, if you know of someone that has, you know, concerns, um, you know, like block nasal passages or, you know, they want to eliminate some food items, aches and pains, you know, you can send them that video and then they can sort of watch it and it doesn't take a lot of time. But we do have updates from Lori and Carol. I want to I want to read your updates and you read so just acknowledge you so John has been working with Carol Morse again we're at a distance she doesn't have to be live on the air John got her permission and she was having some breathing issues and now Carol Morris is updating us her breathing is zero this is the challenge is zero out of ten that's awesome. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, and Michael, you're working. It's clearing, so that was before, and right after she said, it's now a zero. I don't... Yeah, yeah, I'm at aliveandpeer.com. It's right below me here if you want to book a session. And Michael worked on Lori Brown. He says, I can breathe for the yeah. first time in years. Awesome. Yes. Well, hopefully you're going to be a, a, a raving fan of ours. Hey, this might be the kind of show that you guys might want to share on your Facebook page and let some of your friends know that are having breathing challenges. And I don't know. We just want to help as many people as we can. And uh, if you like us and trust us, then let your friends know that this is we're in business to help people uh, have much better lives. Okay, John, I got two more things going on today. The Business Growth Club start as a private Facebook group, and then 12 noon today. I am doing Michael Moshi's top 10 tips for running a thriving business. Hey, listen, even if you're already running a thriving business, here's hear my list. And it might be very satisfying to say, do that, I do that, I do that. Wouldn't that be awesome? But there might be two things on my list. It might change your business. It's a free training today, 12 noon, inside Michael Moshi's Emotion Code Facebook group. John, thanks for hanging out today. And hey, thank we you. Job. We helped two people. We get, you know, we got to demonstrate the whole emotion code process. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Did well. Thanks to our volunteers and people sharing as well, and all our loyal people that come every week and watch us live. And we'll be back next week, same time, same place. And new subjects. Okay, everybody. Subjects. See you later. Cheers. Have a great week.